Hey everyone, uh, we get to talk about the media create sales chart and how much Switch is dominating, absolutely dominating in Japan. Uh, and also, Tony Hawk Pro Skater is coming to Switch, like the one and two remaster. Apparently, let's get into that after we talk about our giveaway for the month of August. We are giving away a copy of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered. Uh, to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment down below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon. Uh, we will announce the winner at the end of the month. Also, we are on our road to 50,000 subscribers. If we can hit 50,000 subscribers before November 1st, 2020, I will be giving away an Xbox Series X, a PlayStation 5, or a Nintendo Switch to one lucky winner in the month of November. If we hit 50,000 after November 1st, we'll still do a special giveaway. It just won't quite be that elaborate. Uh, so yeah, like, share, all that jazz. And heck, let's try to get this video to 250 likes. I know we can do it. Now, let's get into the news. First off, before we get into the media create sales charts, I want to briefly talk about uh, the stuff that kind of came out late yesterday, uh, yesterday night, about the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 that was announced a while ago uh, for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, next-gen systems, all that jazz, uh, and PC. And it's supposed to come out this September. Well, uh, there it was... A hidden, there, there's a demo basically that came out, or a demo that exists, a warehouse demo. And within the files of that demo are images of uh, basically the Switch, the Pro Controller, uh, all that jazz, uh, which we presume are placeholders uh, that are going to show different control schemes uh, for the game. You know, this is the kind of thing you see when you go uh, into the control settings sometimes. Uh, and it has a, a, a Joy-Con grip, the Pro Controller, and, and the Switch itself uh, just in re regular handheld mode. And what's interesting about all of this is that this stuff hasn't actually been officially revealed to be coming to Switch. Now, people wanted to know because obviously we got to play some Tony Hawk back in the day, uh, what was going to happen. And now we have an idea that this is coming to Switch. Uh, so people that are really excited about it should be even more excited about it. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. I'm going to link you down to uh, a Nintendo Life article about this down below if you want to see uh, where all this stuff came from. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, this is exciting stuff. Assuming these images are 100% true, multiple people have come out to say they do exist in the files. So uh, there is that. I don't have the demo files to check for myself. Uh, so, you know, take that for what it is. Now let's get into the media create sales uh, for the week of August 10th to August 16th. So last week, Switch is, is, has been dominating in Japan all year long. But I find some of these sales to be very, very interesting. Uh, as an example, we'll go first off through the game sales where Switch owns eight of the top ten. PlayStation 4 has the two other ones. Uh, and number one, and really been number one for a huge chunk of this year beyond when new games come out, is Animal Crossing New Horizons yet again, selling 105,983 units. That is now over 5.5 million units for that system. Uh it's only 2% dip in sales week over week, which is one of the lowest percentage drops you'll ever see uh, week over week sales. So that's crazy. Uh, at the number two spot is Ring Fit Adventure. That's right. Ring Fit Adventure continues to sell well. Even though it had a 61% drop off, it's still at number two at 26,320 units. That thing is at, at over 1.3 million. It's probably going to get to 1.5, maybe 2 million uh, if it keeps getting content updates. Uh, next up at number three is Clubhouse Games. Yes, this is a game that came out this year, the 51 Worldwide Classic. It came out, Nintendo published it. People don't really talk about it that much. It saw a 29% increase up to 25,245 units. It's now over 300,000 units. Really great numbers for a game that I don't think that people thought was going to perform well. Obviously, at number four, we have the ever-selling Never goes away. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's going to keep selling until Mario Kart 9 comes out at this point. It sold 25,000 units. Uh, had a 48% increase. It's over 3 million. We know the deal. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe just keeps selling. It's it's the most evergreen of evergreen titles on Switch. Next up, we have Paper Mario, the Origami King at number 5. Uh, so as you see, Switch owns the entire top 5. Uh, I saw a 10% bump in sales to 20,978. It is over 200,000 in sales. Great job for that game. Uh, at number 6 is eBaseball Powerful Pro Baseball 2020, which is a Switch game. Uh, 16,444 units. It's almost at 200,000. It's at 190.925. Uh, so 190,925 units. 6% increase week over week. Uh, at number 7, which is this is the big drop off for PlayStation is Ghost of Tsushima. It dropped from the number three spot to number seven last week. Uh, 
It had a 53% drop off in sales, uh, down to 14,953 units. It is over 340,000 units sold overall, so it has sold well, uh, but obviously it's kind of you know going down, and I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up outside of the top 10 uh, this upcoming week. All right, at number eight, we have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, still sh showing some legs here, 29% increase in sales to 12,673. That one is at 3,796,608 units, almost at 3.8 to 4 million. Great stuff there. At number nine, we have Pokemon Sword slash Shield, which was outside the top 10 last week. It pops back up into the top 10 with a 28% bump in sales to 12,603 units. That one is at 3.7 million in sales. We'll see if that ends up passing Smash at some point. Uh, at number 10, we have Mobile Sweet Gundam Extreme versus Maxi Boost. PlayStation 4 title by Bandai Namco uh, saw a 45% decrease in sales week over week. It dropped from number six to number ten, uh, probably outside the top ten next week if I had to if I had to guess. Uh, 10,065 units. Uh, it has sold over 150,000 units. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the software end of things. But now we get into the hardware, and uh, this is this is where you know it just shows how awesome Nintendo's doing. So the Switch was clearly the number one selling piece of hardware. No shocker there. Uh, so 148,699 units, uh, 120,000 of those were the base switch. The rest were the switch light. Uh, that is technically a decrease over 173,000 units sold last week. But what this does mean is switch is clearly back into regular stock levels in Japan and still selling insane because of it. And if you look at this week compared to last year, it sold 50,000 last year, which was still number one. But um, not like this. This is like, you know, 2x, 3x the sales. Year to date, it has sold almost 3.5 million. Uh, at last year uh, to date, it only sold 1.8. So it's almost double the sales from last year to this point. And by the way, the Switch lifetime to date in Japan is at 14,846,512 units. Absolutely insane. You got PlayStation 4 chiming in at number two with 3,301, which is a 2,000 unit drop off from last week. And also an 18,000 unit drop off from, the, from last year. 3DS uh, still selling a little bit here. We got 1,173. It actually saw an increase over last week where it only sold 834 units. Uh, but uh, yeah, the 3DS is winding down and, and going out of production, so I'm not too surprised there. Uh, Xbox One only sold 47 units. Sold 47 the, the week before. 42, so it's actually a, an increase over last year. It only sold 42, but Xbox One has, has never been that popular out in Japan. <laughs> Anyways, I think this is obviously really great news for Nintendo, and uh, I wish... One thing I like about these like weekly sales charts, and I don't cover them every week. Like I, I used to cover them every week, but I don't is I wish that other territories did something like this, gave us a weekly sales update like this. I know it's really hard in the United States because numbers aren't always 100% uh, uh, accurate week over week, but I just wish that we could get something like this to get an idea of how things are doing. Now, should we personally care about sales? Only in so much, I think, that the, the things that we want to sell well, sell well, so we get more of those things. That Clearly, we're going to get another Animal Crossing game next gen. I don't think we're going to have to wait eight years for a new one. Um, clearly, you know, workout games like Ring Fit Adventure, we're going to get, you know, more of that. Heck, we got that jump rope thing for free already. Um, so I think you could just see more and more games coming down the line. Uh, and honestly, I am thrilled beyond belief uh, that we're getting Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2, uh, that remastered game on Switch. At least that's what it appears anyways. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, Maybe it's some wishful thinking, but I did actually play Tony Hawk Pro Skater back in the day. It's maybe the only time I ever really played skateboarding games. Uh, and I had a lot of fun with it. And pretty much all of the skateboarding games since, including from the Tony Hawk series, I don't think I've ever been nearly as good. My personal opinion, I don't know. I kind of moved on from playing those games to fingerboarding because I don't. I can't actually skateboard in real life. I suck at it. I wipe out. Uh, really bad. I can't even like go on a flat surface. <laughs> um, but I, I did do a lot of fingerboarding. If you guys remember what what those fingerboards looked like back in the day, you know. But I, I, I honestly uh, am very happy to see Pro Skater One and Two coming. I'm, I'm really happy to see Animal Crossing still blowing up. Switch is still blowing up. I mean, heck, it, it lost like what you know twenty thousand sales over the week before the Switch did, and yet it's a, still a, basically 150,000 in sales, which is just insane. And we're not even to Japan's best selling holiday period yet. You know, when we get to the end of December, when, uh, when their big, big sales, uh, time comes, their kind of black Friday period, man, are we talking 300, 400, 500,000 switches sold if they can keep them in stock? We'll see. I get a feeling that it's potentially the switch is still selling out in Japan. 
Um, I heard from one person that I know that lives in Japan that it's still really hard to get one, even though there's more units coming in per shipment that are pretty much sold out as soon as the shipment's at store shelves. So possibly the drop-off could have just been because that's just how many units Nintendo got out that week because they are trying to resupply the whole world. This, this is a good sign as well that many of us will be able to see Switches in store soon because if they're getting to regular stock in Japan, then we should get to regular stock soon worldwide. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think about this all down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Robogents from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.